can we gather ourselves, say some coherent sentences? Okay, hi. So, here's the situation. My parents went away on a week's vacation. <laughs> Deb. I'm an artist in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm in my ma'am era. Welcome to the show. All right, so last week I made a video called Why is this middle-aged woman on YouTube? Does Gen X even belong here? And a thousand people watched it and 50 of you left comments. Thank you for taking the time to leave a comment. There were a lot of very thoughtful comments. I really appreciate it. So just off the top, I gotta say thank you. I, I, I wanted a conversation with people and you showed up and I really appreciate that. Um, so just to give a quick sum up, if you didn't happen to watch it, um, I was asking where like all the artists over the age of 35 were. I know they're on YouTube. I know personally of about maybe 15 to 20 channels, maybe probably less than that, that I would like watch on the regular that I kind of sought out and found. So I know that there are more of us on here. It's just, it feels like YouTube is hiding them. And I know YouTube's not hiding them, but there is definitely a prior, a, they prioritize showcasing, I would say, um, teenagers, 20s, maybe like cutting off around 31, 32. I'm not gonna say they cut off, but it's like, that's, those are probably like some of the most popular channels. So for this video to make a lot more sense, I would highly suggest that you go watch that video. It's like 19 minutes long or something. Uh, and then I would suggest after that, I know so much homework, right? So much to ask of you. But if, you, if you're interested in this topic, it's gonna it's gonna help round out everything and when I read these comments it's gonna make a lot more sense um, you should also watch Ellie's video the also known as the lazy redhead she had made a response to my video called dear Debs okay so Ellie made a video called dear Debs last week in response to it um, by the way I had no idea she was gonna do that I got on the treadmill to do a little walk because it was cold outside and I bring my iPad with me to watch some YouTube or Netflix, whatever. I decided to put on YouTube and it was on a Thursday and her video popped up. Like it showed in the feed. I just saw her face and clicked on the video. I had no, I didn't even read the title. So I had no idea she was, she had put out a video response to my video. And Ellie and I were were like YouTube besties. And I hate the word bestie, BFFs. <laughs> I, I just, like, nobody cares what I think. I don't know, it just feels like we're besties. Okay, Ellie and I are good friends on YouTube, but outside of YouTube. And I don't know, we clicked pretty fast. I mean, like attracts like. and. The first time I saw one of her videos, I was like, these are, these are my, this, these, these are my people. There's only one of her, but there might as well be 20 and the world would be better for it. I just, you know, her weird attracted my weird, her sense of humor attracted, we're just, you know, I was like, mm -hmm, we're, we're going to be friends. I, I will make it happen. Anyway, so she had put out uh, such a thoughtful heartfelt response to the video I made and when I was on the treadmill watching this video that she made I cried multiple times and just you have to watch I, I don't know what else to say because um, she's just the real deal and if you're not already watching her channel you should be you should be subscribed to her you should be watching her I don't know that's all I gotta say about it but um and then I, I had so much to say to her in response that I made a video for her called Dear Ellie. <laughs> but it's a private video that I sent to her. At first I was gonna make it like, I'll just do a video response and post it to YouTube. And then I just was like, 
I just, I can't, I can't do all that. I just wanted her to get the message. Ellie, if you happen to see this, I hope the video I sent you worked. I hope you were able to watch it. I have, I have no clue if the link worked for you. I, I don't know. Just give me a thumbs up if, if the, if the link worked and you were able to watch it. So, um, yeah. So this, this video is basically a response to your comments and, and Ellie's in general, but you know, yeah. I want to say a big thank you to Ellie, who, how do I, how do I even start this? How do, how do I even begin? Ellie has, shit. <laughs> Ellie is like my best friend on YouTube. If you don't know, if you're like, who's Ellie? Ellie rarely says her name on her channel. I don't think she even ever said her name on her channel. She's the lazy redhead. And if you don't know who the lazy redhead is, she's the lazy redhead. That's what she always says. Um, Ellie is like, she has my heart like you, like you would not believe. And when I found her channel, I think it was last year, I subscribed immediately because I was like, this, she's my people, 100%. And I just fell in love with her immediately. You know how like you find someone like on social media or, or you meet someone at a job or, or like, let's say you're in a mom group and you like the one person, for me, it's like whoever was the weirdest out of place person, not weird in a creepy way, like weird in the, in the good way. That wasn't like trying to be all perfect. And like nowadays I just imagine it'd be like a mom with a Stanley cup. <laughs> what the fuck with the Stanley cups, everybody. But like, you know, like someone who's like, mm, kind of all together. It's like someone who looks like how I feel. So <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I, Someone who's relatable, like even if they look all presentable, like you, like they open their mouth and you know, like they're a hot mess. And I was like, yes. And I'm not saying, God, that sounds like the biggest insult. Ellie, I'm not calling you a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. And I see the hot mess in other people. And I'm like, I see your hot mess. I welcome your hot mess. Here's my hot mess. Let's Let's mess around with our hot mess. Together we can be one big heaping pile of hot mess and, and love and accept it. Um, all right, I think, I think that kind of covers it. So, I don't know, put me on in the background, knit a sweater, eat a snack, have a, have a cup of tea or two or three because we're gonna be here for a minute. We're gonna be here for a few minutes. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Oh, real quick. I am gonna put a comment under this video, a pinned comment for you to list any channels that you recommend that are either like, I don't care what age, if you think they're smaller channels that need a bigger audience, whatever. If you have a channel that you're starting or you've been working on and you're like, I'd love to get more eyes on it, put, put it in the pinned comment where I say like, leave your art channel suggestions here. And um, that would be great. It would help us all find each other. So just wanted to put that here real quick. First up. So I'm gonna read these. Uh, I highlighted, uh, most of these I'm gonna read the full thing. Some of them I just highlighted some certain parts. Crafty Pod had said, oh, the timing of this. I just finished a whole process of deciding not to do, not to start a new YouTube channel because of the prevalence of young, cute style artists. I had decided I was too old at 56 and not talented enough, nah, true, and feeling sad about it. And here you came like a bright light. Whoa. 
I'm glad you're continuing your channel on your terms. The algorithm can go to hell. Exactly. Like the algorithm. Um, we need your voice here. We need you not to burn out. You've given me a new jolt of hope and I thank you so much for that. Turn that all around back to you. I'm not yelling at you. That sounded so aggressive. Um, we need your voice here and we need we need your art. We, we need to see your stuff too. We need to see you at 56 doing this thing and putting it out there. For, like people, let's not hide ourselves. And age is just a number. It's big or it's small. Who cares? You have no control over what you, I can't control the, the fact that the, that December 26, 1975, I was brought into the world. I have no control over that. So why would I feel shame over it? It's really stupid that, especially in Western culture, that age is so... I get really sick and tired of hearing what... Like, I remember growing up, a couple of moms of my friends were all like, I'm 29 still. Like, nobody would share their age because it was so taboo. My mom was the only person I knew who was honest about her age. She never lied to me about her age. I never heard her lie to anybody else. And I just always thought, I think it's so silly to be ashamed of your age. It's a, it's just a fact. It's like me being ashamed of having brown hair. You know, I mean, it's like, what, what? It's just what, I, it's what I got. It be what it be. All right, Stephanie, um, BW to color. So I think, I think it's cause like black and white to color. Um, so she said, screw the algorithm. You do you. I've missed you here on YouTube. Don't focus on YouTube. What wants you to do, do what you are passionate about and share that. I know you've gotten back into reading. How about some reviews on what you're reading? Maybe some art relating to your latest read. Give yourself grace, sweetie. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Appreciate that very much. And I am not focused. I'm, I, the algorithm can go, Go, go love on itself. Let's, I'm trying to keep it PG. Um, but uh, I, yes, I am back into reading. I am, I'm happy to talk about more book stuff. I, the funny thing is I've noticed more artists that I watch on YouTube talking about like their latest reads. And I'm like, yeah, I'm into that. Cause I just got really, I got back into reading fiction specifically and it's, I'm passionate about it now. So, so I will share it. I will do whatever the hell I want on here. Thank you very much, YouTube. All right, Kathy Weller Art. Kathy's my buddy. We're buds. We're pals. We've known each other for years. Maybe one of these days we'll, we'll meet in person. That'd be, that'd be so cool. Um, she has an awesome YouTube channel that you should check out as well. She has brilliant art advice or and, and like business advice too. Um, thoughtful, like personal essay kind of stories. Um, you should check out her channel. And she's a Gen Xer too. Uh, she said, Deb, I can relate so much of, to so much of this. I mean, I was responding to your points in my head while watching and wondering if I should actually respond to timestamps in a comment because I can, I can relate to the things that you brought up. I, I would not be surprised that, that I can totally see you sitting there being like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yep. Rebecca Zabel said, not too old, not out of touch, Deb. I think your art style is fabulous. Another message, thanks for representing Gen X. We are pretty fabulous. I'm a few years older than you and getting ready to jump in too. Yes, please do. Make a channel, do it, do it, do it, do it. Please. Yeah, and I don't think I'm too old or out of touch. I don't think any of us are. Nobody is too old. Nobody is too young. You're not too early. You're not too late. You're right on time. No matter when you start, you are on time. This, that's how it was meant to happen. Don't give it another thought. Just, just go for it. Jesco Studio says, I'm 35 and just starting my art journey after stopping at 18. Love seeing stuff like this. I'm, and I subscribed to your channel because you were talking about like how you were getting back on doing videos. Um, so go follow if, if I, I will try to remember to list all the people that have channels that said they had channels on here so that you guys can find, so we can all connect and find each other. 
like grow this community. Um, I had a similar journey just so just just to share. I kind of stopped after college because art the art classes kind of killed everything in me that made me want to be an artist and I didn't start drawing and painting again. I did every once in a while, but it wasn't until I was 35 or 36 and then I started like my business. So I started it in 2012. Simil similar thing where I like took this big old break. <laughs> so yeah, Chicken Pants Studio, AKA Claire, who I love dearly. I have what I have a print here. I have an original. I have her cute little general encouragement from the general encouragement pug business card here. I, Cause I love it so much. I look at it all the time. Claire has a YouTube ch channel also that you should check out. Uh, she has a Patreon. She has um, a great Instagram feed. Uh, you should fully follow and support. I'm, I'm a huge fan, have been for years. Um, so Claire said, yes, yes, yes. I resonated with so much of what you said. Your perspective is valuable and needed here. I too mostly see adorable 20 something artists in my feet with exceptions made for the lovely unexpected gypsy and the fantastic Sandy Hester. I'm glad you're here speaking your unique voice. It's nice to see someone like myself represented, AKA a 40 something colorful artist mom. Keep on keeping on, you too. You too, babe, please do. Um, yeah, it, I love the 20 something artists. I think they're great. I'm fiercely protective of Gen Z. Those are my kids. I have three Gen Z kids. I want them to do great. I'm so glad they have like a huge community of support and they're getting paid really well for their art by like Squarespace paying them like $3,000 every time they do an ad for them or you know, depending on the size of their channel or they have hundreds or thousands of patrons giving them five bucks a month or, and they're buying stuff from them. That's, that's an amazing thing. That's awesome. I'm very happy for them that that's happening. But I'm just specifically talking about like on YouTube, I'm like, I, I, art did not just start last, last week. You know, like there are people on here of all age groups. I just want to see some more. I know they're on here. I just wish YouTube maybe put them out there for us to find make it a little easier all right Marcy has a channel called sketchbook scheming and I watch her I've been watching her for she was one of the people I found I was like I know she's not in her 20s I don't know how old she is but I know this is someone closer to my age and I love her her videos she makes these really thoughtful um, she's like telling a story while she's doing her sketchbook spread she made one talking about like, it was it was kind of um, reflecting on her time as a mom when her kids were little and she would take them to the grocery store and they would see this, they would stand around like outside the grocery store and look at this, I think it was a koi pond. Um, and she drew like koi fish and it was so sweet. It was like a really moving, touching story. And I loved that video and that was a while ago. But Mercy makes lovely, cute, cozy drawing videos and you should go watch her. So anyway, okay, so Marcy, Sketchbook Scheming says, um, I know what you mean about not wanting to be internet famous. I'd be terrified, but maybe a few more people could watch my videos. I made a commitment to put out a video a week for at least a year, which I think is a great goal. That's, that was kind of, I was gonna try and do that, but then I was like, I can't swing it anymore. Um, and my channel didn't grow the way I hoped. Oh, I feel you. <laughs> it's just a hobby for me. Same here. So I'm okay with it. Sort of. I, I know it's like, you're okay with your like, look, I'm not looking to be the famous, but it'd be cool if I could reach a few more people. That'd be cool. Just want to build a little community here. I haven't gotten the impression that my age is holding me back. I'm 58. Um, I don't think your age is holding me back. I don't think my age is holding me back. I don't think anybody's age is. I just think it's, it's just, you know, I don't know. Fresh faces are getting a little more exposure sometimes. I cringe at my voiceovers every single time though. I, you know what? I, 
I cringe at the whole experience a lot of times. Uh, like I, like I was talking about last week with like the body dysmorphia and all, you kind of have like a voice dysmorphia thing. That's actually everybody does because your inner ear, like in your head when i did i did vocational school like radio stuff long story i did it in high school and i learned that because ev everyone was having trouble like ew i sound so weird like that that sounds like a different person you're just not used to it um it has something to do with the way your your brain processes it from inside your head versus how you sound to other people so it's just a weird thing, but um, yeah, I get I get cringy about the whole thing. So for me and for anybody else, I would recommend kind of what I'm doing, which is sort of, I, I just took it upon myself to do like an exposure therapy to force myself to get used to, this is the way my face looks. This is the way my voice sounds. This is the way the shape of my body is right now. It's different than what I either remember or have thought it was and I need to accept and love this of myself. And I've gotten to a point where I just kind of look and see like, okay, like I just try to see it as like, that's my buddy Deb. You know what I mean? Like, cause I'm at a point now where I'll be editing videos, I'll like giggle at things I've said. And I find myself being okay more than spending all the time cringing and being uncomfortable. When I was, first doing this in like 2021 <sighs> the battle was hard then so I have come a long way and I think everyone goes through this I think it's I think it's pretty natural for a lot of us all right Callie rally Callie rally's back I don't know why I just said that all right <laughs> Callie rally said I'm about to turn 40 and enjoy the representation I'm getting an art career up up and going and I really enjoyed your Star Distortion story in another video. I made a video about how I s I'll put it here. If you find that one, that was about my start. My how I started. I also like Kathy Weller's videos a lot. Kathy, you have another fan. <laughs> Kathy's awesome. I love Kathy. Yesterday, I met an 86-year-old who came and came to tour our community center. He loves life, he travels, he doesn't want to stay stagnant, and I love seeing people of all ages going after what they want, sharing their stories, so please keep on sharing, if that's what your heart is telling you to do. Thank you for the for the low pressure encouragement. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I it's the same here. I love seeing people of all ages, in all stages of life, in different places, with different, just, different lifestyles, different cultures, all of it. It's it's very interesting. All the cookie cutter stuff gets boring after a while. I think most of us can agree. You wanna see, I just wanna see it all. Okay, I don't have time to see it all, but I would just like to see a little more variety. Leah or Lee says, let's not wait for another October for ghost stories and spooky shit. I'm subscribed and ready to be haunted. Thank you. I see you, I see you. I. Spooky season is all year. There, it's seasonless. Christina Alphabet 1692 said, I have recently been thinking I should hop back on my and start my art journey. This feels like a sign. I'm glad I found you. I'm so glad this found you and you took it as a sign. That's fantastic. Please start, start doing your thing. Like I said, not too late, not too early. You're on time. Just do it, just do it. I fully support it and I hope you, I think, I can't remember if, if when I replied if or if you had a channel or not, but if you do start one, please update and let us know. Zoe Whiteart 7676 says, age is the least interesting thing about a person. It does not matter whether you are young or old, art is for everyone and your channel is fun and interesting as you are. Thank you for your art. I'm 47, 48 in October. Also, love the spooky shiz. <laughs> yes, I will. I, I, yes, let's have more spooky, spooky talk. If, if you like this, listen, I'm going to do a spooky talk whether people like it or not. So, you know, it, it might, it, you know, some people may turn away. I'm, I am all about it. Um, age is, it, yeah, it's just a fact. It's not like the most interesting 
thing about someone. It's just, I find it interesting when I see people at different stages. You know what I mean? Like, I'm super encouraged when I found that 90 year old who is a glass artist and just started a YouTube channel. I was just like, hell yeah. Like that, that was exciting to me. So it's not that it's interesting. It's just like, I don't, I feel like, I feel encouraged when I see anyone older than me do keep going and accomplishing things, you know? Anna Paula Otero, illustration 875 says, I came from the Lazy Redhead channel and I recognized like your, your uh, profile pic. So I was like, I, I'm like, I know you from somewhere. So I'm like, I, I know I've seen you around here somewhere. And if she loves you, there's a huge probability of me loving you too. And uh, I don't know how anyone can't like Ellie. She's amazing. That's why we're buddies. Um, and so far, I'm really relating with you, Deb. I'm Paula, I'm 49, older than you, so I guess I must be a dinosaur or something. No, absolutely not. Stop it. Shut up. You're not, not at all. Uh, by the way, love, love the gypsy too. I've questioned myself. I was talking about the unexpected gypsy. Also, I've questioned my, uh, I've also, huh. I've questioned myself about this age stuff and being on YouTube, but didn't lose, lose much sleep or energy on that. Thank God. Uh, I like watching young people and some not so young, even some old people on social media. I don't care about age. I just want to see people and if I like what they're sharing or not. Same, same Z's. For real, I mean, I, I don't know, I got nothing, exactly. My thoughts, exactly. Julie Toy said, your voice and art are needed here. I'm a 50 year old menopausal lady. <laughs> I love your channel, huge hugs. I'm a menopausal lady too. Menopausal ladies unite, loud and proud. I don't care if it grosses some people out. They're gonna have to get over themselves. This is just this is a stage of life. And it's a, it's a long ass stage from ages like 35 to, in your early 60s usually. One of my friends just told me that she's 61 and still getting her period. And I'm just like, I was like, I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna hear that. Fuck that noise. <laughs> Next, Kylie Jones said, thanks for representing the Gen Xers, Debbie. I think you were the first person who commented on the video because I remember laughing at that and being like, I'm not sure I'm not, I'm the best representation. Um, and I'm definitely not the only Gen X around here, but you're welcome. Glad to be here. Glad to be representing. Um, Melissa Martin Art, you should be watching her channel. I know, I know. I talk about her and Kathy Weller and the Lazy Redhead. And the I, I talk about these people all the time. You guys are probably like, J would you shut up already? We've heard, we've subscribed. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you one more time. Melissa Martin Art, you should watch her channel. Also, she is almost at a thousand subscribers and God damn it, we're gonna get her there. So please support her. She hosts the sketchbook party every week, even though I can never make it live anymore because my daughter's work schedule is on Thursday nights. It's a mess, I can't do it. So, but you should show up there. I try to, I, I'm gonna try and watch all the replays. Anyway, I'm gonna read her comment. <laughs> so Melissa said, I always admire how honest and open you are with your thoughts and feelings. It really does feel like hanging out with a friend when I watch your videos. You are one of literally three people I can say that about here on YouTube. I feel the same way about you and about a handful of people. Seriously, because everyone else, not everyone else feels like an influencer, but a lot of times it feels like, you feel like you're just a subscriber or I've been patrons of people who I definitely just feel like a patron. Like, I feel like they don't, I'm not looking for accolades and thank yous, but I'm like, yeah, they they, they don't, they could care less than I'm here supporting them. They, like, you know what I mean? Some people, I'm not saying someone feels entitled, but some, I think there's a level of that when you get to a certain point. Um, and then I think there's also just when people have so many subscribers, it's like you just can't possibly go through all the comments and respond to them. It's just, it's not. I can't admit, that's exhausting. I spent a lot of time and energy going through these over the last couple of days and responding to them all. So that, that took a lot of work and energy, but it was, I loved every minute of it. I love talking to you guys. So 
Trust me, if I miss a comment and I didn't respond, it wasn't because I didn't care and didn't see you because every person here is a real person with real thoughts and this is these are not AI generated robots here making comments. So, all right, that, that's it. Can I shut up already? <laughs> I wore socks today that say stop talking because I have to remind myself to stop talking. I go off on long tangents and between you, me, and the lamp post, this is I think my eighth attempt at filming this video over the last three days. Four times just within today. I had so many false starts, so many bad first pancakes, you know what I mean? So, and the last couple days I went through reading comments, trying to record it, and I had so many interruptions that it just totally disrupted the flow. So if you think that I'm having an easy peasy time filming a video where I'm just talking to a camera, you're wrong. <laughs> so if you go through that, that you're not alone. Me too. Lisa Oliver author says, hee hee, I'm 62 and have with three YouTube channels and none of them have blown up at all but boy it's so much fun talking to the camera and so the four walls every day the same here i talk to myself all day long um i don't really want to talk to a camera because it doesn't feel like i'm talking to anyone it's weird but i want to get a conversation going so i that's why i'm always like i hope somebody comments so i can talk to people when you work alone like i do in my own little home studio here um I love it because uh, I, I would say I'm mostly an introverted person, but there does come a point where it becomes very isolating, which is, that's part of the reason that I started a channel so I could connect with people. Plus I didn't have any um, in real life artist friends. Like all, all my friends, I have there I have friends who are artists, but we, we, never, we can't get together in person. Like we're all talking to each other, either through Instagram or texting or, you know, th that's how we all connect because all of my friends who are artists live far away and it kind of sucks. Although someone in the comments did say they live close and I will get to them in a little bit. Monica Owen, okay. I know you, we, we're, we I can't remember if we met through Sophie or Melissa. I, I'm pretty sure we were doing like art hang parties. I don't, I don't remember exactly how we found each other, but we do follow each other on Instagram. So we know each other. Um, so Monica Owen said, yes, you belong here. I super look forward to your vids because you're funny, fun, and your art is bomb. Because I too am always searching for my Gen X people here, people on here who are doing, um, well, old people stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know if we call it old people stuff, but like, what would old people stuff be? Like, like telling you about how um, I had to take dry mouth mints because my mouth was dry. I don't know. Is that old people stuff? <laughs> that, that, that comment cracked me up. Leslie Hayes said, no age limits on art and what you can give others with your experience. Don't doubt yourself. If you still enjoy what you do, there's no boundaries. Enjoy. I fully agree. Fully agree. Thank you for your comment. Amanda Glover R 2425 said, we Gen Xers made YouTube. Yes, yes we did. This person has like a, a generic username, like, you know, just one of those like YouTube usernames. Uh, I'm just gonna call them K because there's a letter K. Um, K says, I'm 35 and want to see more women who are further ahead of me in their lives. I still feel like a baby in the world trying to figure it all out. And the wisdom experience and relatability of other women is so, so important. 100%. Yes, I agree. and. They also went on to talk about um, celebrating all the, all the changes, whether it's, it's gray hair, wrinkles, you know, whatever, um, and just like being cool with it. And I I totally agree. I'm I'm not saying people shouldn't, you know. But, ugh, sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable here. I'm not saying people, you know, should avoid doing anything to change their looks or whatever, you know, cosmetic stuff. I don't do whatever you want to do, but I just uh, I I'm so tired of people being ashamed of their age or made to feel ashamed. That's it's absolutely wrong, and it's unacceptable. Um, Meowgi's mom, 
I assume it's Meowgies, like Mr. Meowgies, <laughs> which is the cutest name for a cat I've ever heard of, um, says, I think personally people our age are set in careers where the younger crowd is just jumping onto YouTube and these small businesses. I started work, I started, I'm working on starting a YouTube channel myself, not for YouTube fame or even money, just connecting with other creators. Same, 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 same. I'm still trying to get my setup done, but thank you for speaking for us Gen Xers out, out here, out there, whatever. Um, I hope it, and don't take too long on your setup. Just, if you, if you have like a smartphone, just, just honestly, just talk to that. Just do that. That's, that's, everybody starts out that way usually. I only recently switched to a camera and then all that kind of stuff because I, just I was using up so much memory on my phone but a camera a camera phone so much just whatever like if you have I can't get the words out if you have a if you have a smartphone with a camera it's the easiest way to do it or an iPad whatever just do it just do it you do not have to do anything fancy because it's not the fanciness and the editing it's the person and their message and whatever they came on to do. That's that's what we're watching. Death Bear Brown says, I'm not going to make any assumptions about creators' ages. Same, I'm always like, I don't, I'm not that great at telling people's ages a lot of time. But I personally watch a lot of older creators on YouTube. I, uh, I also am an early adopter to a lot of channels and it takes years to grow an audience when you're putting out quality con, even when you're putting out quality content. I'm often shocked at how few subscribers people have when they are people I'm obsessed with. Yeah, same. Um, it's why I put out like a little video, uh, two videos talking about underrated art channels because I'm like, I'm obsessed with these channels. They're amazing. Why aren't you watching? Why is everybody, where, get over here. Get in here. You're missing out. Like I want to do more of those videos by the way because I think there are just so many hidden gems. I know that I, Okay, so I printed these out because going through it on my phone, I kept losing my place, so I printed these out. But it cut off. Um, but I know that <laughs> you had said YouTube has made it hard for me just as a viewer to find new channels. I'll search very specific art keywords and get a couple new videos and a couple I've watched before. And then, and I remember the story, you said something like, and then you also get these completely random weird videos you said like haunting videos of people reading their wills to the camera. Like, I'm sorry, I said art. I didn't say deathbed confessions. What the fuck is happening here? You know, so um, I started, I, I laughed out loud when I read that. I was like, oh my God, I know exactly what you mean. When you go to search something and just like the weirdest shit pops up that you're like, well, who the hell put this there? So can I, either Kana or Kana, Michelle, 7404. Um, it cut off like half of her comment, um, but it's really beautiful. And I want you guys to hear the full thing. Some of you wrote like beautiful, thoughtful comments that were like personal essays. And this is one of them. I have two daughters just a bit younger than you. I'm 70 years old, 70 years old, but feel 27. I have noticed that our beautiful younger generations tend to way overthink everything. Agreed. I didn't think the, I didn't have the internet when I was young. Me neither. <laughs> I didn't have it until I was like 23. Uh, Cause my parents did not have a computer and the internet was like, it, it was a newborn struggling baby um, when I was in college. I didn't have the internet when I was young. So I only compared myself to my friends and people at, people at the mall where I rarely even went. Same here. I compared myself to like the popular girls at school people on TV and like magazines. And if you grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, early 2000s, I think you know the kind of stuff that was presented as, here's the standard of normal and beautiful. Like this is how you, this is, this, this is it right here. This is, this is what you need to be. So really skewed sense of things. That was bad enough, but the younger generations, yes, you are young, are practically marinated in social media. Ex yes, 100%. There is a plethora of places to go to find people to compare yourself to. Do I need to list them all? No. So just be aware that up until recently, it wasn't common to, to, 
It wasn't common at all to watch what everyone else in the flipping world was doing and feel like you must compare to them. I don't feel like I must compare to them personally. It's just that I think it's natural to, after a while, just go like, you know. Yeah, you start seeing like this skewed sense of the world presented to you with social media. And I think um, it really messes with your head if you spend way too much time on there, 100%, which is, I, I think that's why a lot of us are concerned for like Gen Z and you know Gen Alpha coming up but like you know thankfully my kids even though they are on the internet and watch videos and all that kind of stuff and they're teenagers and in their early 20s and but they are pretty well grounded and they know like so that's why I'm like the kids are all right we're gonna be okay they're smart they're not stupid they know that a that this is a skewed sense, a skewed view of the world. It's polished, it's here's me with a filter, here's me on a good day. No, there, there aren't many people, there aren't people posting pictures of themselves, so hard to say, of themselves like with a resting, resting sad face, resting bitch face, having a bad day, standing in line at CVS for 20 minutes. You know, nobody's doing that, it's like, you know, posting themselves like having the best day with a beautiful background, you know, that's not real life. Okay, so it's not common. It, it wasn't normal to be watching what everybody else is doing in the world and compare yourself to them. It is downright unnatural. Please, sweet younger women, take my advice and try not to overthink and try not to compare. You are unique and that is something I hope you find out before you are 70. Eyes on your own page and you will be much happier. Amen, sister. I, 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 I kind of giggled when I read that you had said eyes on your own page because I say that all the time. I, like to myself, I'm always like, eyes on your own page. You know, like, just just do what you're doing. Like whenever I, because I, when I go on social media or on YouTube, anything, I look to be inspired and encouraged by what I'm seeing, especially like in the art community. Um, but the minute that I've been on, if I've been on there too long, the scale tips into comparison and that's when I know, okay, it's time to sign off. You've, you've watched too much. It's time to do your own thing. So I just, I love that you said eyes on your own page. I've been saying, <laughs> I say it to myself all the time. It's either Cream UX Craft 9019 or Cremu Craft. LOL, also Gen X here, still trying to motivate myself to learn to make a reel. <laughs> an Instagram reel, like the short form content. And God, those are such a bitch to make. Honestly, I do them sometimes, but they're a pain in the ass. Rebecca Thomas said, hey, uh, well, said that they live like 20 minutes away from here. <laughs> but when the channel popped up, she said, yes, you're my friend now. I'm almost 44 and it started really focusing on my artistic practice and felt like I was so far behind. You're not behind, you're on time. I left my day job for health reasons and was lost. I've had hobbies all my life and would love to make it something that supplements our income, her husband and her. Um, I worked for years in a kitchen cooking and made friendships with coworkers that have dissolved because I'm not in the kitchen anymore with them. YouTube has been a lifesaver and saved me from loneliness, inspired me so much, and now you are the one that I really think will push me to say, be a Debbie, you Gen X future YouTuber. Get your butch button gear and do the, f I think do the damn thing. I don't know, cut off at the here. But um, first of all, I love that and I really hope that you do this. Um, and I'm glad that you, this, this may have been just like that one little extra thing, that video to make you really go for it. Um, I'm so glad that there is another artist in the area that like, yeah, uh, let's be art friends. I'm, I'm all for it. Like I said, I don't have enough. I, I, I have friends here. I don't, I, first of all, my life barely allows me to see them, but there's no one who's like working from home, doing art and you know, <sighs> so that's why I took to the internet to find, to find you people. Um, and I so relate to what you're talking to, like having a job, having that camaraderie and working with people and being able to have that like coworker banter. Like, even though I'm kind of an introvert, it's like, I do miss that a lot. 
because I got who I, I'm talking to myself on a camera right now. That that's what I have going for me right now. So yeah, until like my kids are around or my husband's up, you know, but yeah, I mean, it's like you miss that. You miss being with other people and like you do make friendships that way. But yeah, I and I've been burned by a lot of people, like not burn burn, but like thinking like, oh, this is a lifer friend. And it turned out it was just situational friend. It's like, no, we just work together. But the second I leave, it's like, they're just like, yeah, I'm not interested in talking anymore. And you'd like check up on them and you found out like, okay, so that wasn't, that was a fake friend. They were there for that season and they're not interested in pursuing anything past that. Or when my kids were little and like we, you know, they had friends at preschool or in elementary school and we'd get together like as moms and have our kids play together. And then the second like our kids got older, maybe they drifted apart or they went to like different school districts. Those people just sort of faded away. And I was like, I feel like I'm keeping up on this friendship, but you're not interested. I was like, do I suck? What's up? Do I stink? And I know I don't. But I'll tell you, I really questioned it when I was in my 30s and it was happening because it hurt like hell. I felt so rejected and so lonely. And it sucked. It really sucked. I just, it, so, I just like, when you, that brought up a lot of old feelings for me. I was like, oh my God, I, I, I've been there. So, did I just yell too loud? Sorry. All right, Rachel McNulty said, I live for the awkward, I enjoy you so much, and will take the treat of your videos whenever the urge strikes you to make one. You offer you. Thank you, Rachel, I appreciate that. Um, and I love the awkward too. I don't need perfect people around here. Perfect's boring. At Create Artworks, sad. Um, she wrote a really long, lovely, thoughtful response, but I'm, I'm just gonna read a snippet of it. I resonate in so many ways being 50 this year, and I only started my art journey in 2019. From a small from a small biz, art journey, and perimenopause point of view, it's good to watch others I can relate to better. And I agree, The Unexpected Gypsy is another encouraging channel. I admire artists of all ages, but it helps to watch someone who's going through similar life stuff. Yes. That's all I'm saying. That's all I was trying to say in that last video was like, I'm out here doing this thing and I'm just trying to find other people that are doing this thing too that are kind of like in the same life stage. That's all, that's all. Intrepid Frady Cat. Oh, uh, by the way, Intrepid Frady Cat, thank you for checking in on me. You, Melissa Martin, Ellie, Lazy Redhead. Um, there's, I, I have, uh, I want to say Jess, but I want to say it's like, anyway, you know who you are. Um, you guys reached out to me personally to see like, are you alive and well? Are you okay? Um, some of you know that I was, I was going through stuff and we're checking in on me and I really appreciate that. And some of you were just reaching out to be like, Hey, I miss you. And I hope you're doing okay. Or like, I miss your face. Are you going to put a new video out? I'd like to see you. You know, I just, I really, I really appreciate that. And you, all of you guys that have been like, you know, the long haulers on here, you're the, even though we're a small group and all that, I, you are a big part of the reason that I come back to do this because I'm like, I have friends here. I don't want to just like walk away and abandon them. It's just that life circumstances get really tough sometimes to do it, but um, to do this, you know, putting out videos and all that. But, um, I appreciate you reaching out to me. So that was really sweet, it's really sweet. So Intrepid Frady Cat said, I can definitely relate to everything you said. I follow a lot of younger people and they're great, amen. But I'd like to see more people, especially women, closer to my age, to my mid fifties age, amen again. Also, the overpolished videos don't appeal to me. Videos with goofs and screw ups are much, are more relatable and endearing. I agree. I agree. I agree. Totally. Daniela Alucon Illustration. Illustration. Daniela Alucon Illustration. <laughs> Why am I trying to say this? Who cares? Daniela. 
I'm just gonna call you Daniela. This it's too too many syllables for this this mouth. Okay, I'm 35 and completely relate to what you're saying. I think new niches on YouTube are are born daily on you are born on YouTube daily. Am I getting tired? Am I okay? <laughs> and the middle-aged artsy woman, like the unexpected gypsy, is a niche that will grow and gain momentum from your lips to God's ears. And then you will have plenty of plenty to choose from because adult women really come in all different shapes and sizes, meaning our interests differ and we can bring a lot to the table. So I'm really just patiently waiting for that to happen. And she went on a bit after that, but um, yes, I, I fully believe that this is a niche that will be growing. Um, I know that people in their 20s are gonna usually don't have kids, usually, you know, if they're doing this, if they're doing the content creation as like their full-time gig, then of course they're, they have time for it because it's their job. They have to make time for it. Um, but a lot of people our age already have either a different job that is providing a steady income and maybe have kids, aging parents, all the stuff I've probably talked about 20 times before. So I get it. But I think more of us are showing up and doing this. And I think it takes getting over the hump sometimes of like, oh shit, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to edit a video. I know because I taught myself to Vinci Resolve and it was a lot. It was a lot. You don't have to do that. You can use iMovie or, you know, you don't even have to edit a video. I just do because I am, I'm long winded as hell. See, stop talking. That's saying that to myself. Holly, H -dub, H Dubs Art 1462, who has a channel that you should watch. I've watched a few of her videos. I like, I was already like subscribed to her, so you should check her out. She has lovely art videos. She has a little cute, tiny art studio full of like little knickknacks. I'm into it <laughs> and you should be too. All right. She said, I started YouTube because I wanted to feel like I existed in some way in this modernized way to exhibit art. I think people our age don't have as much free time to watch YouTube, so the younger artists get more res representation. Gen Xers have kids, jobs, aging parents, all the stuff I was just saying five seconds ago, uh, aging parents take care of, and not as much time to watch and participate in social media than, you know, like the teenagers and 20 year olds. You're doing great, keep going, but don't let yourself get burnout. out. Yep, yep, fully agree, fully agree. Jen buys a house said, 46 year old here, I just turned 46 in early December. What did you mean by perimenopause gets intense? I am scared now. Don't be scared. <laughs> Listen, for me personally, I, I was doing like all the natural herbs and supplements and everything. And that actually helped me a lot with my symptoms, but I am super sensitive to, floor, to hormonal fluctuations. And I always have been since I went through puberty up till this very minute. If there is a slight fluctuation, like I know when I'm ovulating, I know when I know, I know what is going on in my body at all times because I'm just overly sensitive. Is it because I'm neurodivergent and I, I feel every label on things and you know, I, I'm just, that could be part of it and that I'm like an empath and I'm like, I feel all the things, not just my things, I feel everybody's things. It's, there's a, there's a lot that could be contributing to my sensitivities. Um, so you might be fine. I know someone who's a couple years older than me and they're deep into the perimenopause and they're, I don't think they do anything uh, except maybe like some herbal stuff and um, I think they microdose cannabis, like if, if they need help sleeping. Like they're not, I don't think she even gets hot flashes, which I'm like, are you a freak of nature? I didn't know there was one single woman who didn't experience that. Everybody is different. So you might have a totally different experience. You might coast through and be fine. The Frugal Crafter, uh, AKA Lindsay said, fellow Gen Xer here, I've been on YouTube for 14 years and not quitting anytime soon. I know who you are, okay? 
Um, I've been following you for years. The Fruit Crafter is a pretty big YouTube channel. I'm honored that uh, somehow she found my video and left a comment here that was like, oh my God, I've been following you for a long time. So thank you, Lindsay, I really appreciate that. And if you're not watching her channel, you should. In fact, I decided in 2021 that I would try watercolor again. And she, I know I watched a few of her channels along with some other tutorials and she really helped me. Um, so thank you for that uh, because gouache and watercolor and all that, I really, some of these mediums I just wasn't real comfortable with. And um, she was one of the people, that her videos helped a lot. So, and she does a lot of things. And she does some like talk to the camera stuff. And she's a Gen Xer. So yeah. And she's one of the OG art channels. <laughs> so, sorry to mention you last week, but um, I just was talking and flying off the seat of my pants and the Unexpected Gypsy was just like the first and only one I thought to talk about. That was all. Chris Odenkirk Art says, I'm right there with you. I'm an artist pushing 50 and started a YouTube channel that I only really started to seriously work at last year. And then I promptly got sick and haven't put anything out in two months now. Um, yeah, I relate to that. <laughs> I'm getting back around to it, so I'm struggling with some of the same questions. I hope you get back to it. Take your time, take all the time you need. And then when you're ready to go, or maybe a little bit before you're ready to go, just push yourself to do it. Um, no reason not to. The, on the only one that's gonna stop you from doing it is yourself. Um, and I just wanna encourage you to, to get back into it. I think it's starting, that's the hardest and then you get the momentum and I'm sure you know this already because you've already had the channel but for me when I take a long break sometimes it's really hard to restart so yeah Solbrick said I'm only 43 years old making videos good I'm glad you're on here come hang out with us all right wild Cornovi said there are tons of older youtubers you're not looking Joe Rogan is heading to 60. Jordan Peterson is heading to se heading to 70. You have the problem with your age. We don't care. Okay. <laughs> so, well, just to, I actually don't know the tone of this. I don't know if you meant it in that tone. I'm reading it in that tone. That is the tone that this gave off to me. And that's fine. Um, you're right. There are a bunch of people of different age groups. Um, Specifically, I was talking about artists. So I wasn't talking about podcasters and I'm kind of looking for form more female artists. I'm fine with male artists. It's just like, I'm like, I'd like to, there's a, there's sort of a stigma with women my age sometimes. That's all. Not a stigma I have. Yeah, I mean, I watch Mel Robbins all the time. So she's 55 and she's a podcaster, but I'm not talking about her, I'm talking about artists. So I hope that makes sense. That's what I was referring to. I don't even know if you watched this because it, that, yeah. I have a feeling this was just someone who read the title and then immediately jumped to the comments and was like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, Maximum B said, I didn't realize you were talking about yourself at first and I was about to comment, excuse me, she can do what she wants. <laughs> so, so I assume that you refer to the title where I'm like, what is this middle-aged woman doing on YouTube? And she was all, excuse me, you know. So I'm glad you're about to stand up for me against my title, <laughs> which actually was neutral. It wasn't a snarky, what is this 48 year old woman? I was just like saying in general, like, it, like if you're, it'd be like me saying, what is this brown haired woman doing on YouTube? That's how I feel about age. I don't care, but there people stigmatize it and people project their feelings onto it. And some people, I mean, they really, they really feel some feelings about it. So in conclusion, I want to thank you very much for all your responses. I wanted to read them to you so you could all hear each other. I thought this would be a better way to share that there is a big community of people that feel similar or people that want to start a channel and have been hesitating because they're like, I feel like all I see when I sign on YouTube is 25 year olds. And that's not true. It's just that that's YouTube. They're, they just tend to have more popular channels because they attract their age group who has more time to watch these things. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Love you all. 
and I will see you soon. I do have some vlog stuff filmed that's actual art stuff and not just me being a talking head. So that'll be coming. And um, yeah, I will definitely put some more spooky shit out there when I want. I do want to do like a thrift store trip. I've been dying to do an art thrift flip thing. Um, I want to go back to the art museum at some point because we had a crazy time there. Yeah, so I will see you when I see you. Take care. Bye.